this is the fifth time I filmed this video just because I don't know how or what to say. Welcome back. Just to get it out of the way, New Year's resolution this year was to not cut my hair. That's why it's long. A few people have asked about that, so figured I'd throw that out there. Uh, another thing is that I've gotten a few questions on is why I haven't been making videos. Short answer, I've been busy. And I won't go into the details, just I've been busy. Um, I will get into the details of one thing that I'm kind of considering, which is right now I currently host three cars on Turbo. And in my area, it's pretty tourist destination, so uh, I'm constantly cleaning those vehicles, and getting them ready to go, and, and get, returning them, and cleaning them, washing them, etc. So I've been really busy with that. That's the long answer, sort of. Um, but I wanted to get your guys' opinions. Right now, I currently have a 2012 Dodge Journey, 2013 Dodge Dart, 2018 Mustang, a 2016 Cherokee, a 2007 Chevy Suburban, 2006 Pontiac Vibe. So that's six vehicles that I currently have, one of which is going away. That's the 2016 Cherokee, so I'll have the five vehicles. And the 2012 Dodge Journey is going to be given to my wife, so I will be out that vehicle for Turo. Um, I will have the 2018 Mustang, the 2013 Dart, if I get rid of the 2007 Suburban and what I get from the sale of the Pontiac Vibe, I should be able to get a 2022 Ford Maverick. Since I have to get rid of the Dodge Journey uh, as a rental, I would have the 2018 Mustang and the 2013 Dart. That's only two rentals. That's not the greatest income, but it is an income. But if I were to spend the money to get the Maverick, I could use that for more income. And if it's paid off, that makes me feel a lot better about it. The Dart's paid off, and the only one that's not paid off is the Mustang. So my question to you guys is, do I get the 2022 Ford Map for Turo? It would be the two liter all wheel drive version. Um, I would put a bed, uh, I'll just put a picture up here. I'll put a, a tailgate cover over the back so that uh, people can put their bikes in it. it our area is high in mountain biking um, tourism. So if I put that on there, I was thinking I could rent that for X amount of dollars a day. And I think it would be really profitable. So I'm just conflicted on what to do. If I go with the 2022 Maverick or if I go with something similar, um, you know, a little bit older pickup truck like a Silverado or if I go with something completely different, like another SUV, like another Dodge Journey, and I could get that for a lot less if I got like a 2018, 2019, somewhere in there, um, and I could get it for a lot less than the, than the Maverick. But I think having a pickup truck on Turo in my area would be good. Uh, there currently aren't any pickup trucks, and so if somebody had that option, even if it was their only option, um, and they didn't need the pickup truck, having the rental vehicle on there would be ideal, I think, in my opinion. So that's what I've been up to. I've been busy. I just got four days a week at work instead of five, and so that's going to help immensely. Kids are back in school. That's going to help immensely, and I just have a lot more time now, and it's cooling down, so I'm really excited. I'm excited to get back into making some videos for you guys. I just ordered another battery for my camera. I had the one, but having one battery is, is like stupid. You know, I have, currently I have the system plugged in, but I can't have it plugged in everywhere. It's kind of annoying. So I did order another battery, it's on its way, and I look forward to making some more content for you guys very, very soon. Now that it's the end of the video, I want to thank you guys for liking the videos, thank you for subscribing to the channel, and thank you for sharing. Share it to your friends, whoever would like to see information about vehicles. If you have a friend with a broken down vehicle and, and one of my videos can help, I would like it if you shared it. Thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you in the next one.